What's up, man? Can I get a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese on a plain? Okay, a plain bagel like with the, the cream cheese and the salmon? Cream That's for yeah. Yeah, but just a little. That's it. Look at the... Who would have thought that cream cheese and salmon go really well together? <laughs> now I know what you guys are thinking. That's a lot of carbs. And you would be right. But I burn it all off on the job. Um, let me back it out. Like I always say, be mindful of dogs. Um, there's going to be a lot of people out later on in the day. If you guys feel unsafe for any reason making the delivery, if it's if like a bad neighborhood or it's a porch and it's 30 people on it, just let me know. Give me the address. If you have trouble at the gas pump or the gas pin and you see one of our fellow team members, you have the permission to give them your card and give them your pin. If that doesn't work, call dispatch. In the morning, I like to clean the windshields with Windex paper towel. Hey guys, Chris here and welcome back to the Amazon Vlogs. Today, we're back in the hood where the streets are narrow and everyone lives like 20 feet away from each other. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today I want to talk about why I don't always get to drive the EV or electric van. A lot of people in the comments are wondering why and most of my in real life friends as well. So we're gonna cover that later in the video. As of now, let's get some deliveries done. We've only got 130 stops, so it's not gonna be too hard. Let's go. Hello. Package for Nancy. Mm -hmm. Amazon? Right. Delivery to the third floor of the elevators. Got to deliver to apartments in the hood or else they'll get stolen. Thank you. 
Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank of course. You. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, we'll bring the big one first and the bag later. Yeah. What's up, boss? Did all right. All right. Uh, maybe like 24 packages. So Amazon made this update where you can't scan all of them and say secure mailroom. You individually have to put mailroom. So we're gonna have to take 24 pictures. So let's do it. Alright boss, that's it. Okay. Take care. You too. You don't mind if I use your restroom, do you? Yeah. Awesome, appreciate it. You gotta know where the bathrooms are. Clutch. This one's nice too. I never told you guys, but the shot you're seeing right now is from my new camera. It's a 360 camera. So that's why it looks a little funky and weird. But hopefully you guys enjoy it because I'm going to be using it every now and then. Just for some cool POVs like that. Look at that. I don't know how it's going to look, but hopefully it looks kind of cool. <laughs> See the hole inside the truck. And we're looking for a package. We're looking for a package. Got it. These two. Go like this. Just doing the same old thing, but instead of POV, it's more, um, I guess, third person, right? Like a, it's like a, I'm like a video game character. too windy but look at this shot. Hey. Amazon just got a package. Hey where you at? <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Oh appreciate it so much. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. These trash cans and you got this one. Yo check it out guys. <laughs> All right, now I'll explain why I am always in the step van and not in the electric van. The Rivian. So there are two main reasons why I don't always drive the Rivian. And the first one is people keep them up. <laughs> so when cargo van drivers become EV drivers, they're stepping into a much larger van than what they're used to. And since they're not used to the bigger size, that calls for a lot of mistakes. Now the Rivians, you know, they have sensors and all that, but that doesn't protect them from people who can't drive. And this being Amazon, they'll pretty much hire anyone on the street as long as you can walk, talk, and do the job somewhat efficiently, you'll get the job. Look, cat. Because with the Rivians, if you're gonna make a turn, you're going to open up a lot more than what you're used to when you're driving the cargo vans. And there's a lot of damage to some of them on our fleet too. I think we got like five or six of them down or grounded as they say. Yeah, so the problem is people keep damaging them. And what happens when they're damaged? They get grounded. And what happens in a ground truck, you may ask? Well, when a vehicle is not seen fit to drive on the road, it has to be fixed. That's where the pre-inspection, post-inspection stuff comes in. Now the drivers themselves are not grounding them, but Amazon employees are. Because they realize that drivers were scared to ground them because their boss at their DSP would get mad. Because now they have to go to the mechanic and get it fixed. 
because let's say if I hit a tree and it broke this entire mirror, driving without a left mirror is pretty much a hazard and it could take weeks to months to get them fixed, especially the electrical ones because they're special parts. With the step vans and the cargo vans, you can go pretty much any shop, any body working shop and get it fixed. But with the Rivians, they're special parts. You have to go through Rivian and that could take a lot longer than it would versus the cargo slash step vans. So to keep it short and simple, people mess them up, they become grounded and they sit in the warehouse for who knows when till they get fixed. And in the meantime, a lot of EV drivers that drive the Rivians now have to drive cargo vans because there's not enough electric vans for everyone. And number two reason why I drive the step van is it pays more. So the base pay for cargo vans and EVs here at my DSP is $20.25, but the base pay for step van drivers is $23. Now I say money isn't everything, but if there's a like $3 difference between doing the same job, maybe just having a little more packages, It'd be stupid of me not to take the opportunity. And most DSPs work like this. When you drive a step van, you get paid a little extra. At my other DSP, it was only a dollar more. So it was $21 and 25 cents. It's kind of cool because my DSP here is willing to pay drivers more. And that's not to say they can't put me in an EV and cargo. It's just that since there are step vans that need to be driven, that can only be driven by step van drivers. They're going to put me in one because step van drivers can drive the cargo vans, but the cargo van drivers can't drive the step vans. But like I said, it doesn't mean that I can't drive one. You know, I'll ask my dispatcher like, hey, can you throw me in an EV every now and then? And they're cool with me, so they'll throw me there. And I know you guys love the Rivian, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna drive it in the future and make more content with it. Yeah, but with that being said, I don't mind driving the step vans. The step vans are just a lot of fun. There's not a lot of technology as there is in the Rivians, but there, I don't know how to explain it. It's just fun. I guess the best analogy would be, let's say you guys are going to a beach. It's a bunch, it's you and your friends. Maybe there's eight of them. So you got to take two cars, right? One car is the newest Mercedes Benz 2023 EQS, all electric, has everything. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, heated cooling seats, everything you want in a car is in there. But your other friend has a Honda S2000. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a convertible with no top. It's from the 2000s era, but still a cool car. Now you're headed to the beach. Which car would you rather be in? The Mercedes or the Honda? For me, I think the Honda would be a lot more fun. Just have a couple of friends with the windows down, top off, driving, cruising to the beach. And that's why I would compare the Stefan to. And the Mercedes is that Rivian. It, it's still fun, still cool, but it's just not as fun as the S2000, you know? <laughs> uh, Stefan drivers that have driven the EVs, what do you guys think? Do you like the EVs more or do you like the step vans more? Let me know because maybe you feel the same way I do. So right now is my favorite time to finish. It's 8 o'clock and sunset is right there. So let's take a couple seconds, sit on this dirty sidewalk and take in the view. Dispatch James speaking. Hey, it's Chris. I'm done. Anything coming back? Uh, one business closed. Okay. All right, then. I'll see you when you pull up. All right. See you then. All right. <sighs> All right, guys. That's it for the video. Here we are in the parking lot where I uh, reevaluate my life. Just kidding. It's a nice view out here. Oh, and let me give you a sneak peek of next week's video. Doing it on a bike. A company sent me a bike. Hey, bike. <laughs> We're gonna be bringing that to New York City and showing you what's like to deliver there. Anyways, that's it for this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.